And we are back and live on the Zaki Show with upcoming new sensational rising star Zaki. Good to have you on here, buddy. It's a pleasure. How have yeah, you thank you. It's been a pleasure. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, how you doing? I'm doing good too. Yeah. Thanks, bud. So, yeah. Uh, oh, let's see uh, what we got here. So, last time I saw you, you we were. That was like three or four years ago when uh, we, we first got on the tube. And after that, I've been kind of busy with other things. But uh, that's not why we're here today. Uh, unfortunately, I have been. Uh, I've been pleasure to come back to the show and. You know, do an interview with you. But anyways, uh, the subject matter is the Nigerian soccer gods, gods from above. If you guys haven't seen that uh, documentary uh, produced by Zaki, you might want to check it out. I'm sure we'll uh, we'll have the link provided for you. But um, let's just have a look at a, a clip to get this uh, show rolling, and uh, we'll be back with more. change your uh, outfit and clothes. Yeah, I had to. Um, I'm, if I'm going to talk about Nigeria, then, you know, I need to so represent. Zaki, that was quite a documentary you made. That was uh, very inspirational at best. Uh, what inspired you and what led you uh, to produce uh, this documentary? What, uh, what inspired me to make that kind of documentary was, you know, uh, you know this, besides the fact that I love uh, soccer and I love uh, African soccer, keeping up with it. I know you have heroes that inspire you to to be the best. Like there's somebody in life that's going to inspire you to, you know, want to be on top, even if it's not in the same area as them. But in your own area of life, you want to uh, to be the best, and that's kind of what uh, those players taught me you know, back in the day and I'm still uh, I still try to uh, implement even up to now. Uh, inspiration came basically because uh, I believe I mean I've yet to see it but I haven't seen any uh, I haven't seen Nigeria produce uh, any of, of, of uh, a documentary or movie like that and to honor its players in the way that uh, history they will always be they will always be remembered. So I decided, you know, to not only make a, a documentary like that, but to kind of tell it in the eyes of 
the fans, in the eyes of the players themselves, and to you know add a bit of of uh, drama here and there to uh, to let Nigeria and the football world know that uh, we can we can do better, we can rise uh, much better than where we are today. So that's kind of all these things that led me to inspire me to make that documentary. Oh uh, wow, what a what a what a answer. And um, I guess my next question is what. What is the future for Nigeria football? Uh, the future for Nigeria football is pretty simple than one might think. Uh, plan well for the future. Uh, get your house in order. And what I mean by getting the house in order is planning for tournaments and not only planning for tournaments, going to the grassroots to see if you can find talent. And uh, uh, talent is where it's at. But not only finding the talent, but nurturing that player and uh, not only nurture the player, but develop the league, Nigerian league, uh, in terms of putting investments and money and making the league standard and attractive. We can develop the league again like it was in the 80s and 90s. I'm telling you, uh, Nigeria will be a strong uh, nation to reckon, reckon with in terms of football. Because if you only rely on players who are playing in Europe, that's not enough. Because you cannot do always count on them, always. Players like Sonjo Lise, JJ Okocha, they, were, they came from from that league, from the Nigerian league. They didn't come from Europe. They went to Europe because um, that's when uh, the European scouts and agents uh, saw what uh, those guys can offer into their team. But Nigerian league is, is really what they need to work on. And most final point, um, the Nigerian football yeah, sorry, we, it looks like we had to switch out our cameras. One of our cameras just kind of died on us, so we're going to have to take that to, re, to the repair shop. So if there's uh, any blurry here and there, we'll try to correct the problem during the uh, during the show or when we do the edit. Uh, but uh, yeah, so Zach, you mentioned uh, Nigeria football needs, needs to get their house in order and uh, all that stuff. You think any of these guys would... Uh, notice or even watch the, your documentary and inspire them to do that or what's the what's the verdict on that? I have no idea. Sometimes Nigerian leaders lack common sense so I have no idea. They lack common sense, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah that's other Yeah we do, uh, we don't want to spend too much time on here but yeah that video uh they do do, do a lot of uh, views and even got a tweet from one of your uh, uh, childhood heroes, Son Dioliese. So that uh, I'm sure that made a, a big uh, smile on you. Uh, on that, uh, you still you still you got any uh, other uh, other things to show? Uh, I think we want to show this one video of you, of you Zach. It has like a uh, a tight uh, song, a tight tune, I'd say. Let's 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 check it out and then. Uh, Zach, you watching the JJ Alabuke channel right here.